The facts concerning Valeda Snow's early years are sketchy. She was born at the turn of the century in Chattanooga, Tennessee. She came from a musical family. Her mother taught Valeda, her two sisters and brother, to sing, dance, and play several instruments. Valeda was by far the most talented of the siblings. She could play the cello, bass, violin, guitar, banjo, harp, accordion, clarinet, saxophone, and trumpet. By the age of 18, she had established herself as a vocalist, dancer, and trumpet player throughout America. She also worked with small bands, which later rose to stardom. One such band was led by William Count Basie. In 1924, Valeda made her Broadway debut in The Chocolate Dandies, a musical by U.B. Blake and Noble Sissel. The show was a failure. Only Valeda and a newcomer named Josephine Baker received decent reviews. They would remain close friends for years. In 1926, she followed Baker to Europe in Lou Leslie's Blackbirds. But her restless nature soon had her traveling the world with a jazz octet led by drummer Jack Carter. I think that the reason that she did not develop the kind of uh, uh, sort of myth that surrounded other entertainers like uh, uh, Louis Armstrong or Ethel Waters uh, was, or Josephine Baker for that matter, um, was because she essentially from the mid-1920s to around 1940, uh, more or less uh, expatriated herself. Not entirely because she did come back to this country, but by and large she toured uh, the Far East and she toured uh, Russia and ran with the international set and was a, 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 a pet of European royalty when they would hang out in places like Rangoon or Burma at the Raffles Hotel. When Valeda returned to America, her career took a major turn when she joined Lou Leslie's Broadway production of Rhapsody in Black, starring Ethel Waters. I went to the, the Paramount Theater and I saw on the marquee, it said Ethel Waters, Valeda Snow, the Mills Brothers, the Berry Brothers. I say, gee, that's a great show. So I went by, uh, got my ticket, went in to see the show at the Paramount Theater, and out came this beautiful lady, Valeda Snow. What an artist. She played trumpet, she sang, she danced, she did everything. And it was sort of like a little feud there, like family feud, because Ethel Waters didn't like anybody who got a bigger hand than she got. <laughs> the feud continued for many years, and Valeda headed back across the Atlantic to England to join a retooled production of Blackbirds. The show was a big success. Critics and musicians alike were crazy about Valeda Snow. W.C. Handy gave her the handle, Queen of the Trumpet. Frankly, I don't know a single soul today who remembers Valeda Snow that clearly. I was lucky when I was a very young man to meet her, and she was doing her old act. She sang, had a good voice, and then at the end of one of the songs, uh, somebody came out with a pillow, a velvet pillow, on which lay a trumpet. I took that trumpet and took, picked it up and played like Louis Armstrong. <laughs> just almost shocking to hear her play it. Pick it up and just, da -da 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 -da, just she, she was brilliant with that. 